How's it going everyone? I'm Andrew with Speed Tech Lights and today we're going to be going over our K-Force 47 Linear. When you get your unit out of the box, you'll have your light bar going to your connection cables. Then you'll see a connector here and that's to be used with our optional Supreme Control. And then you have your main power cables and then your aux cable to hook up to 10 amps of additional lighting all off of your Supreme Control box. Now when it comes to our optional Supreme Controls, we have our standard version and our handheld version. Now today I will be using our standard version and then I'll hop back and show you some of the features of our handheld. To hook your light bar up using our Supreme Control, you'll simply run your connector to your Supreme Control box and then I went ahead and hooked my main power cables up, so my red cable to my positive and my black cable to my negative. Now I did bring a standard red-blue setup with me and you'll see that all of our full-size light bars come standard with two white takedowns, two white alleys, and an amber traffic advisor in the back. And this is our standard red-blue setup. But we offer these light bars in amber, red, blue, green, and clear in solid half-half and alternating color combinations. And we even have our customized light bar tool where you can lay out exactly what colors you want in your light bar as well. So you'll notice you have your slide switch here on your Supreme Control. So the first position will activate the back of your light bar. The second position will activate the front of your light bar. And the third position will activate your light bar in 360 mode. So you can easily access those three modes off of your slide switch. And then you have your pattern button here, so you can cycle through your different flash patterns. You can find a pattern you'd like. And then this unit has memory recall, so you can turn your light bar off and back on, and it'll remember the last pattern it was on. And you can program a different flash pattern for each different mode. So if you switch back to your back mode and program a pattern here, and switch to your front mode and program a pattern here, your light bar can remember up to three different flash patterns. And then you also have a couple flash pattern shortcuts here. So if you hold your pattern button down for three Three seconds your light bar will activate its steady burn mode and then if you hold your pattern button down for five seconds your light bar will activate its random flash pattern mode so you can easily access those two modes off of your flash pattern switch now let's go over your takedown alley and cruise mode so you'll see you have your takedown, alley, and cruise buttons here. Now when those buttons are activated, those modules will go steady burn. And then these do function independently of your light bar, whether your light bar is flashing or not. And then when these buttons are deactivated, you'll see those modules will go back to flashing with your light bar. And then we also offer a multicolor upgrade here for your takedowns and alleys, to where when these modules are flashing, they will flash the warning light bar color ordered. And then when you activate these buttons, they will still go steady burn white. Now let's go over your traffic advisor and aux function. So I went ahead and turned my light bar around here for you to show you the traffic advising feature. Now you'll notice the traffic advisor comes in standard amber on all of our full size light bars, but we do offer a multicolor upgrade here to where when these modules are flashing, they will flash in the warning of your light bar color ordered. And then when you activate your traffic advisor, they will go amber. So you'll see on your Supreme Control that you have your center out button here. You have your right left and your left right features. And then finally, you have your aux button here to hook up to 10 amps of additional lighting. And you'll simply hook those lights up to your aux cable harness. Now let's go over your handheld Supreme. So you'll see the main difference on our handheld Supreme is it's more compact handheld design. And then you'll see the slide switch is replaced with three buttons up here. So you still have your back mode, your front mode, and your 360 mode. You have your flash pattern changer, you have your takedown button, your alley button, and your traffic advising features. And then you have your cruise mode. And finally, you have your aux button here to hook up to 10 amps of additional lighting. Now let's go over the mounting options of your unit. When it comes to the housing of your light bar, you'll notice the top cover fully encapsulates the base of the light bar for a really solid seal. And then you'll notice underneath your light bar that you have extra drainage holes for even more moisture protection. And then you'll see that you get your included light bar feet here, and these are adjustable along the slide track if you need to adjust for your vehicle. And then you'll see our universal gutter mount brackets as an option, as well as vehicle specific gutter mount brackets. And then if you need a permanent mount option, we have our permanent mount stud brackets, where you'll use the existing hardware from your light bar feet to mount these brackets like so. And this light bar will use four permanent mount stud brackets. And then finally, we have our headache rack bracket, which you can mount your light bar to and sandwich on your headache rack like so. So that covers all of the features of our K-Force 47 Linear. Make sure to check out our interactive player right below the product pictures and also our flash pattern video to see all of the flash patterns that are included with this unit. If you have any questions, give us a call or shoot us an email. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.